Today is still April 14th, 2023. Uh, I got back to Louisville. Uh, some guy uh, looked at me and said, well, we all know that that bastard did. Where I'm uploading that other tape. You know, um, in 19, some girl was sit. it's 19 or 20. She's sitting outside of the Louisville laundromat where they keep selling the login. Um, she's, they keep selling the cakes where they said they were selling the login for $25 a pop. She looks over at me and she looks down at her phone and said, none of this is funny. The case said she was found innocent of everything. I was. 18. See, police and agencies can only be in your home under a threat of life and they have to speak to everyone before they start as an entrapment. See, that's where it was only Steve and Eric before. Will could never say he was part of that and them date rape drugging me, him and trafficking me under drugs to that Steve. They were assaulting me, leaving giant bruises, hand marks, and beating me. He'd go to jail. That they were, he was helping doing that to a private citizen and then photoshopping a shower scene in the other room and then them all already confessing and then laughing at people. That's victimizing me over and over again. He could not be part of victimizing a private citizen. Now, they could have went to him when I called the FBI because they knew I called the hotline with their stalking tapes and he ran with it to uh, infiltrate the gang. You know what I mean? Act like he's a corrupt agent and then ran with their scam. Knowing that it's photoshopped and all this other stuff. So he, why he bullied me on the phone and all this other stuff, knowing it wouldn't be admissible and all this other stuff. And I was framed that he could infiltrate the gang and find out how big of drug dealers, and how big this is going to be. Because if he actually, the case actually proves me innocent of everything, because the way the case actually plays out. Here, I have the call threatening my life. I have, and they're hiring people, and people are showing up, and I have four attacks. And I'm having bruises, and I'm getting sick, and then they have uh, people uh, threatening to knife me, and then the car, attempt to carjacking, the uh, attempt to kidnapping, the fall and running, and the attempt to break into where the security system was, you know, and um so now if they're showing up with stocking tapes and you know date rape drug confessions and now that they are associated with a really bad gang and they show up with this to them and he takes the opportunity to infiltrate them and act like he's corrupt to me to scare me bully me and then lets me inform it to protect me with my money and my diplomatic community and then bully me again so i can stay quiet so he can get them but then I'm still protected under the diplomatic immunity and the money. But then he let them hurt me really bad while he got into that gang. And while he's letting those drug dealers hurt me, he's getting 900 members' names. And then he goes out and gets them all. See, where they, uh, the case actually uh, plays out, I almost died to save my family. And I got raped and tortured trying to help the Asian lady. I got drugged the hell out of. I almost got shot driving. I had to hide on a shooting night. I, um, drug dealers breaking in, drugging the hell out of me. Got bashed in the back of the head, 12, 21, 18. Got jumped in my own house. Um, publicly humiliated. Well, he's getting a hold of all these drug dealers' names to eventually round them all up. Use my case to go out and get a whole bunch, an ungodly amount of bad guys. Instead of just a, a local occult trying to kill one person. See, um, I was in uh, McDonald's uh, about a year ago. And one of my old neighbors said, this guy found out what she lived through. He thinks she's amazing. He wanted to meet her. I told him to go ahead and go ahead, ahead and go up and say hi. He comes up and says, hi, I'm Vito. And I'm like, hi. <sighs> because the login actually shows I'm innocent of everything. And I almost died to save my family. Most people have um, never have almost been shot driving. Had to fight it. Uh, faced a shooting night, stalkers being chased off in Walmart, 
um, people breaking and drugging have been raped, tortured. Uh, it was horrifying. And then bashed in the back of the head and left for dead. And while this agent's out infiltrating the gang to get 900 nationwide. And le leaving them to attack me as vultures. While he got the bad guys. They see the case plays out. I was found innocent of everything because the only thing they did was victimize me, human trafficking me, drug me, photoshopping is asinine, and they already admitted to all that before in their stocking tapes, and they're not admissible. He knew they weren't admissible. He knew he was to arrest them. But when you find out there's a drug gang involved, he just took their thing and ran with it. He wants to say that. He can't say he was actually part of that before. And otherwise, that would make him a hardened criminal. That he took and put him and Pete played them to infiltrate them and get 900 bad uh, fam, uh, bad uh, gang members in several different gangs. And the big human trafficking thing, him and the sheriffs and the marshals, they used my case to get him because that's what people are saying now. Hmm? Choose his words carefully that he wasn't an accessory. Because the way the case lays out now, that's how it is. That he used the case to infiltrate the gangs and let them hurt me while he went out and got all those names. He could have arrested 200 the first month and I wouldn't have gotten hurt this bad. But instead, he waited and got 900. And I was found innocent of everything in that case. See, um, my one daughter-in-law that goes to that call, she had her kids make up some mean jokes and knowing I was in protected custody, okay? Knowing about Wills pretending to be a corrupt agent, that I had undercover police walk around me, that they were getting filmed stating that they wanted the house for Michelle Dave's new girlfriend. For the house wasn't meant for grandma, it was meant for Auntie Shell and Papa and Grandma needs to get out. And then later on to my granddaughter Flora, they were making everything up, their games of pretend. Flora ratted them out October 23rd, 2019. Of course, it never happened. Of course, it wasn't true. We made it up. Their uh, games of pretend laughing. <laughs> she was seven. I would have spanked her if she was my child. Participating in such mean jokes. I didn't know it. The police only told me that they made, uh, she was how stupid she was. She was making everything up when I was fishing with Dave. They knew I was in protected custody because, uh, Will was doing this pretend thing that he was corrupt, trying to get all these people involved, and that he was helping them instead of me. And so he'd get all these people that are involved in this and to fool them and for them to come out of the woodwork. And for their involvement in this. And they're just documenting me jokes. My whole family spoke highly of me. My other son and daughter-in-law didn't know about Eric's mean stun of the date rape drugs where I had the giant bruises and the hand mark. They didn't know they were human trafficking me under drugs so that were Steve, dear God. They didn't know about the shower scene in the other room and they already admitted to it and over 10 people told on for date rape drugs and uh, photoshopping up that shower scene and framing me before. The police already know that. We'll already know that. Um, and they know that it wouldn't be admissible. And, um, but uh, to fool that call, they ran with it, trying to, that they would help them. And then they got a whole bunch of bad guys on my backside of using, letting them hurt me so that they could infiltrate those gangs and then get all those uh, people and letting them repeatedly hurt me. And keeping them preoccupied while they got getting names and names and names and then started arresting them. Like I said, my whole family spoke highly of me. The ones didn't know about the photoshopping of shower scenes, which uh, that would have been devastating to know if they were actually part of having me human trafficked, uh, raped, and drugged. That would have been horrible. Thank God they won't, had no knowledge. Uh, Melissa and her kids were just known as show-offs for Mo Michelle, that they were just acting out. They're just documenting me and jokes, and it was Wipetown 18. Uh, 
and everybody knows they lied um, including the police even the sheriffs were laughing if that Kurt just found out those kids were lying yes wow that was 21 um, even my one clients like uh, who's all that crazy Melissa they all talk about lying it was 21 it's like all that star in law friends with ex's girlfriend had the kids make up a bunch of mean games to pretend in front of the police he's like she's nuts I said I know she is and he said they're still talking about it I said I know that and um, but yeah so as the case plays out I was found innocent of everything and he was using me as a pawn to infiltrate that gang to get 900 uh, members and my whole family spoke highly of me and to get nine and let those other ones abuse the hell out of me and I almost died to save my family I found innocent of everything. So, unless he wants to say he was premeditating, he was an accessory with a call, and he was hurting people, that's a whole different ball game. That's federal prison. Now, if he wants to say the call brought it to him and he ran with it to get into that gang, that's a different thing. Because the way the case is laid out, I was found innocent of everything. Almost died to save my family, and he used me as a pawn to uh, infiltrate that gang to get 900 fam uh, members and to arrest him. He could arrest arrested 200 the first month and ended this. And I would have never got hurt this bad. To me, he should have ended it the first month and hit me. And I would have never had to live through all this. And he shouldn't have sacrificed me. And then other people wouldn't have been taken while he was trying to get names of gangs members.